Hey everyone, welcome to my channel or welcome back if you are a returning viewer. Today I am happy to say that we are finally building in the new expansion pack that just recently came out for The Sims 4. It is the Lovestruck expansion pack and the name of this world, I think, if I'm not mistaken, it's Suedad and Emirata and I believe that's how you pronounce it. My apologies if not. I haven't watched any of the live streams or any other YouTuber videos or anything like that. So I pretty much came into this pack blind. I, I know nothing about this pack. <laughs> I just know that it's kind of a town inspired by Mexico. And I think that is so fun. We don't have any other worlds really that is inspired by Mexico. I don't believe we do. If I do, then let me know down in the comments below. Uh, but anyways, we are building the very first house that I have built in this world. And I did not know exactly how I wanted to design the exterior of this building. I looked online on like Google. I looked at some like inspiration pictures and I seen quite a bit of them had some brown accents on the kind of near the roof at the top of the buildings and so mimicking that I decided to pull out those base game like little like logs I'm not sure quite what they are but they look really good around the top of the walls like this and it just gives an extra detail that definitely was needed um, something seemed to be missing it seemed a little bit on the naked side and so I ended up just pulling those out and placing those on top and I really like the way that that looks and by the way when I first started building this build I thought I was going to do a starter home but then it just kept getting bigger and bigger and I enjoyed the way that the bigger house looked and so I decided to just make it into a family home so this house actually fits around six sims so there's two parents there is a teen a child in a toddler's room and then I also made a little bit of a storyline for the family that lives in this house so the sixth person that lives in this house is actually the brother of the mom of the house and so he just recently he got dumped recently <laughs> okay his girlfriend of a few years now he thought she was the one and unfortunately she did not think the same she ended up kicking him to the curb he did nothing wrong this was totally just out of the blue it was not expected at all he does not quite understand her reasoning behind it he seems to suspect that there is another sim in the picture um he thinks she might have met someone else that she just grew feelings for and her feelings faded for him that is not confirmed by any way that is just his suspicions but I will go more into his story in my next video that I will be posting on Friday. I actually made a family to live in this house and so they have a whole storyline and it's going to be really interesting and I hope you guys come back to watch that video when it is available on Friday. And so as far as the house goes, um, I did not know this until the pack update but round pools are a thing now and that is so awesome i have been wanting round pools in the game for such a long time and this is not part of the new pack i think it's part of the free update that came before the pack was released um i I'm pretty, I'm about 99% sure that it's part of the free update. They don't usually put something that big and for just the expansion pack because then it, it doesn't allow us to build anywhere else in the world something that big. So they would have to do a whole overhaul of the pool system in general. So it's safe to say that was the base game update. And I am going through debug now and I'm just pulling out some different landscaping from the new pack. And I 
absolutely love those bushes that I'm pulling out now. I don't know if they're bushes, they're more of like vines and stuff. Um, I absolutely love using plants like that to surround my bushes. It just makes it look like really overgrown and it gives it some extra detail that would be missing otherwise. I I don't really love the way landscaping looks when it's just placed directly on the grass. I just think it looks so much better when you place those like viney things underneath it. It just, it blends it together better. <laughs> And I am trying to decide how I want to organize this backyard. Um, I really wanted to put that round pool somewhere. And so that was like a given. I had to just figure it out. And I ended up putting it in the corner of the house. And so now I'm just adding some like stones on the grass to make their way. It's like forming a path to the backyard over to the pool area and so I end up leaving the pool right here and that is right outside of where the back door is going to be. It's it's probably not the most ideal setup. It doesn't give you too much space on that side over there to walk around but it gives you enough and so since it's so small over there I don't end up adding any patio chairs or anything. I just put like a little bench like a table, like a picnic table under the pergola that's over there on the other side of the pool. And that's really all that was needed. We didn't get too many outdoor decorations in the new pack anyways. And I wanted to only use base game and the new pack in this build. So if you guys, I don't think I've said it yet. This is only using love struck and base game. And so if you have those two packs, then you can totally go download this house off of my gallery which is always linked down below and it's also linked on my profile somewhere too on my youtube profile but um it's just my youtube name it's the clumsy simmer and there's no spaces between the clumsy simmer it's just all one word on my gallery and so definitely go find my page and give me a follow over there as well i sometimes post things that i don't always do a speed build for um, most things I do speed builds for, but some sometimes for whatever reason I don't do a speed build for it, I will always post it over on my gallery. So definitely go check that out if you're interested. And so we are pretty much done with the outside for the most part. We do have some more landscaping to do in the backyard and then just a little bit more in the front yard. I end up adding some of those like pink or red flowers from the base game and it just brightens it up a little bit. It gives it almost like a tropical look. And so I I love tropical looks. And in Sims and the real life, just tropical landscaping I think is just so beautiful. And so I always tend to go with the bright colors for some reason. It just makes it nice and happy outside I feel like. And so I am just trying to figure out the floor plan. This floor plan gave me a little bit of a hard time. I really wanted to make this into like a three generation house, but once I got on the inside, I realized there's just not enough house to make enough bedrooms to be able to fit the three different generations. I really needed one more bedroom and then I would be able to do the whole three generation storyline, but it didn't work out that way. I really liked the idea of having her brother live here with her because he did just get dumped. <laughs> And it might sound fun that siblings are now living together again after so long, but it's really not for them. It's actually quite stressful. They are kind of estranged from each other. They have not been in communication since their parents passed away several years ago. They drifted apart. There was a little bit of hard feelings between her and her brother and who she decided to marry, her husband. Her brother was never supportive of their relationship. He feels like his sister deserved better than the man she ended up marrying. Uh, their, their romantic relationship dynamic is unpredictable. Uh, so that is a new feature that is also in the game. You can now 
edit the relationship dynamic between romantic partners and there's a few different options one of them is unpredictable I have not played the game yet so I'm not quite sure how that plays out but it seems like it would be interesting <laughs> it seems like it would be really fun to play with people that have an unpredictable romantic relationship um, sounds like it could be very very toxic which is not something we want in real life at all but this is the sims and we like to make our sims miserable for some reason so <laughs> other than that there is also wholesome and i can't quite remember what the other two are i think so there's wholesome there's unpredictable i think there's like lovebirds or something like that something where they're like really really close and like head over heels for each other and then there's one that like they can't stand each other unless that's unpredictable but there's like a few of them you can choose from and i think that's so fun it reminds me of the family dynamic that came in the growing together expansion pack it just adds an extra layer of realisticness when it comes to relationships. I think it it's really great and it's good to see that they are continuing the dynamics and more expansion packs than just growing together. So I'm excited to see what's coming in the future. And we also have another new feature for gameplay and it is turn ons and turn offs. And I think that is so fun and so awesome because it has been since, well, I think The Sims 3 had turns, turn ons and turn offs, right? I, I can't quite remember. I'm not a big Sims 3 person, but I know The Sims 2 had turn ons and turn offs, and I love their turn on, turn off system with uh, like the chemistry, like the lightning strikes. Your Sims have different chemistry, they have turn ons and turn offs, and The Sims 2 does it really good, and they also have wants and fears. That is done really good too. I think it's better than The Sims 4's Wants and Fears. It's The Sims 4 Wants and Fears is not it. It just isn't it. <laughs> but I do, at first glance, I do like their turn on and turn off system. It's almost like the likes and dislikes. And so you just set different characteristics that are a turn on for your Sims or a turn off. And I have not, like I said, played with the actual pack yet. I've just been building houses and making sims. And so I am quite interested to see how it plays out with the turn on and turn offs. I think that it's going to be really fun to play around with. And so we are into the interior of the house. We've been for a, quite a little bit of time now, but... I am just getting the kitchen together so there there was a few new items in this pack when it came to kitchen decorations there was not many but there was enough that I was able to add some stuff to the kitchen and make it look a little bit fuller than it would if it was just base game and oh this is when I found that they finally added the numbers that actually go on the outside of the house and I thought that was so fun. I love that so much. I'm surprised that they didn't do that for uh, the four rent expansion pack. Unless they did and I totally missed it. I mean that is definitely possible but I don't think they did. I, I feel like I would have seen that because I've been waiting for something like that to come in the game. It adds an extra touch of realness out there and I I think it's so fun so I was so excited when I seen that I had to put it outside and I'm probably gonna be putting it outside of a lot of my houses that are not pack restricted <laughs> um, unless it's pack restricted where it's just base game and this pack and then I can go uh, I can go crazy with that but I do actually have another starter home coming eventually that probably won't come until next week though I already have it built and I have to do a voiceover for it still, but it's it's a lot like this house. <laughs> the shape of it is a lot like this house. I am not even going to lie, but it's smaller. And I also add like a rooftop area on that one. I, I really want to do like a rooftop bar on this starter house, but when you got starter house money you you can't do fun things like that and so i couldn't do that i had to just put like a telescope up there or something but i'll get more into that once i actually uh post that video but for now um yeah we are still in the kitchen they did come out with those the backsplash that you could just put behind the counters and i thought that was really fun i really wanted to use that and take advantage of it but 
Once I put it down, it just did not go with the colors of this house. It's very, it's very neutral-ish on the inside. And then I wanted the accents in the house to be red, just so it's kind of got like a romantic vibe to it. And so I, I just wanted to stick with the neutral with the red pop-outs. And for the most part, that is what I stick with when it comes to this house. There are some other colors here and there. But for the most part, it is very, uh, very neutral like that. And so now I'm just kind of, <laughs> this is the first pack that I built with this, uh, or this is the first house I've built with this pack. And so I'm kind of going through the different items in the pack and looking through it and just deciding what I want to use and what I don't want to use. The walls are looking very, very bland. And so I'm trying to put some wall decor on the walls to make it look filled up a little bit more. And it came with these new curtains too. And I don't know how I feel about those curtains. I, I don't think I love those curtains. I think I kind of dislike them. Um, they look kind of like country-ish to me. I don't know, there's something about them that is not, it's it's just not my t my style, I guess. But it's new. It's new curtains, and I don't know when I'll ever be able to use them again in a build. And so I want to take advantage of it. And so I put them in some of the rooms in this house, but definitely not every room in the house. I couldn't stand to look at it in every room. But and so this is the only curtain that came with the game pack. And so the other rooms I just decided to use just base game. And I also, by the way, I don't think I mentioned, I put like a little porch area outside of the front door and the front door is actually on the side of the house. So you can't even see the front door from just facing directly in front of the house. You kind of have to be at an angle to see the front door. And I thought that was really fun. I've seen a lot of like, at least Mediterranean style houses like that, um, if not like Mexican style houses. I tried to make this as Mexican inspired as possible. Um, I'm sure it's not fully authentic. I have never been to Mexico. I, I will be going to Mexico. Me and my fiance is actually getting married in Mexico next year. And so that is gonna be very, very fun. We are going on a cruise and we are getting married at one of the beaches at the port in Mexico so that's gonna be really fun and so I'll finally be able to go to Mexico then um, it is just a cruise so we're only gonna be there for like uh, two different port days and we don't like sleep there you only have like eight hours at each of the ports I think the day I'm getting married we have ten hours at that port but nonetheless even though we are not spending the night it's still gonna be super duper fun and I am definitely looking forward to it I love the vibes that Mexico has. It's, it has very colorful and happy and cheery style to it. And it's, it's going to be so fun. I really enjoy traveling. That's something that I really like to do. I can't do it as often as I would like because it doesn't involve quite a bit of money, but I do it as often as we can. I have never flown to a different country but we have taken a cruise before just to the Bahamas and that was like that was super fun and then I like going around to the different states in America as well we don't have to have a passport for that and so we just go to the different states and stuff and it, it's fun it's a fun time to go travel and see what different areas are like instead of just staying in the same old spot and only knowing what you grew up around. It's very good to expand your horizons and actually learn different cultures and what else is out there in the world. But we are over into the living room now. I just got the teen girls room done and I found that they added new wallpaper and it's very loud wallpaper. It's, it's cheetah print. <laughs> and I think they had some zebra print too, maybe? Uh, different animal prints. And they had a pink cheetah print. And I thought it went so good in that teen girl's room. She's like a huge romance enthusiast. She cannot st uh, wait to start exploring her options in the romance world. And so her room definitely 
shows that she is in fact a hopeless romantic and she gets that from her mom. Her mom has always been like that ever since she could remember when she was a child she could she would dream of finally getting married and finding the love of her life and it has not worked out the best for her mom but her mom does she just hopes her daughter finds someone that treats her very well and um, better luck than mom has had. She she married the father of her children at a young age and they do love each other very much. They still love each other and they've, they'll, they've been together for such a long time and they will continue to be together. They are not looking to get a divorce or anything, but it is very unpredictable at times. They are like very much in love and they'll be happy and having a fun day and then all of a sudden they can explode into a big fight <laughs> and it's a... Uh, probably not very very healthy but it makes for for interesting gameplay like I was saying earlier but I pretty much got the living room done the living room is nothing special guys <laughs> um, I don't really like the couches that came with the new pack either the coffee table that came with the new pack I think is great it looks like a fancy coffee table and I think we have enough of those but it does look good and I do like the swatches and so there's really not much to the living room <laughs> it's kind of bland i put some candles out the couches this is just an area that they come to hang out and i'm trying to figure out what to put on that wall over there i guess i finally did just a random picture of someone running i think is what that is but um i also ended up putting a computer in like that hallway right there in front of the staircase we had no computer anywhere not in anyone's room or anything and it is almost not possible to play The Sims without having a computer, especially since there is a new dating app in the game, and I think that is also so fun. There's so many fun features that came with this pack. I think it's like, I don't know, it, this might not be everyone's opinion, but I think this is a pretty well thought out pack. It's been better than ones we've had in the past, guys. Uh, there's no denying that. Um, now, as far as the gameplay, I have not played any of that yet, so as far as everything working as intended, I do not know. I, I just know what I'm seeing in the first impressions of the pack, okay? I haven't played any of it yet, so just keep that in mind. But I did get the child's room done downstairs that's right next to the teen's room and I kind of tried to make it gender neutral. Oh, and they have oxalotls in the game now and that was really unexpected. What, is oxalotls really popular in Mexico? Um, are they from Mexico, I'm guessing? And so that is, that's pretty fun that they would have added that. And they, uh, I died when I seen this rug, guys. <laughs> I did not expect them to come out with a rug that's like, I hope that's a fake rug. Let me just say that, that that's a fake bear. That better not be a real fur rug. That better be the fake bear rug, okay? We are not, we are very much against uh, animal cruelty here. I absolutely love animals. Like, in real life, I love them. And so I would never have a rug like that. Even if it was fake, honestly, it's it's not even pretty. It's kind of ugly. It's hideous. But it's, it's fun to have in this game. And it's something new, and so I wanted to put it out. I probably will never use it again, just like those god-awful curtains there. But it was something to use in the first ever build of the new pack. I feel like I always have to use as much as possible of the new items, or else I don't get, like, the full the full feeling of the new pack. I just like to use all of the different decorations. I think I used almost one of everything and they finally added a heart-shaped bed again and I think it even, it says it vibrates in like the catalog description, but does it really, like in the gameplay, does it really vibrate and does it give like your Sims like a little mood lit for it or is it literally just it says it vibrates but it doesn't i have a feeling that's what it's gonna be but at least we did get the heart-shaped bed and this bedroom right here is the bedroom that her brother now stays in so he gets his own balcony so he's very lucky but he has absolutely close to no furniture at all and so in his bedroom he has like that new bed I think you only get it if you buy the pack by September 1st but it's it's just the mattress <laughs> there's no sheets 
and it's called like the breakup bed or something like that. I think that's pretty funny. <laughs> I think that's pretty funny, but I ended up putting that in the room where the brother is staying at since he did just get dumped by his longtime girlfriend and she took the sheets. She left him with just the bed. I mean, he's lucky he was left with that. I mean, she even took the headboard. Like, she took everything, just not the mattress. He is stuck with the memories that they had in that mattress, if you guys know what I mean. But he also invested in a treadmill too. He wants to try to get into better shape and get back to working out now that he is newly single and will most likely be making a new dating profile on the Cupid's Corner dating app in The Sims. I think that is so awesome and so fun. I love the dating app in The Sims 3. Um, that was like the best part of The Sims 3 in my opinion. <laughs> like I thought it was awesome. Um, and so I'm, I'm really like looking forward to playing the actual gameplay of this pack and creating a dating profile and I think it's gonna be so fun. I don't not, I, I really don't have any plans of doing a let's play. I just don't really have the time. Um, it takes up a lot of time doing speed builds and stuff and that's what I really enjoy doing are the speed builds and even the create a sim videos and so that's probably what I'm going to be sticking to. That is not to say I will never do a let's play in the future at all. I mean if, if there's like a really interesting pack that comes out that's great for like uh, storyline then I might do a let's play but it's just not something that I'm very invested in um, I'm bad about starting a let's play and not finishing it I've, I've done that already <laughs> I've, I've started a let's play and uh, I just lost the interest of doing it and I haven't touched it since and I do that a lot with like my game in general if I play the actual game I'll start like a game and have like a family and stuff and I'll be invested at first and then all of a sudden I just get kind of bored and I never go back to that save file. And that is what seems to be happening with my Let's Plays. And so as of right now, I don't have any, any thoughts of doing a Let's Play. <laughs> if that is something you guys are interested in seeing, then I mean, let me know down below. I, I can certainly try it out at some point down the line when I have a little bit more time on my hands. But don't be expecting one anytime soon as far as this expansion pack goes. I think it's going to be fun just playing it on my free time. And so we are back outside. I did do the toddler's room on the inside and then I decorated the balcony on the outside as well. And the balcony, it just had some couches out there. It's just a little lounge area where the balcony is. And then I also put a bar. The mom's really into mixology. I mean, she's into drinking too. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, she's really into drinking, but she really likes and enjoys making drinks and she really enjoys inviting all of their friends over and having parties at her house. And she usually tends the bar and she's really good at making drinks too. And she is also in the Romance Guru career. I think that's the career name, the Romance Consultant maybe. She is on the matchmaking side, but I will get more into that when I do their family video. I am going to be, like I said, posting that on Friday. So stay tuned for that. Um, they are the family that I intended to be in this house. So if you're interested, you can go download this house off my gallery, as well as that family. You can, you can play that family in this house. And um, yeah, so we are just finishing up the landscaping on the outside of the house. I am just adding these little paving stones down to make a walkway over to the other area where the other side of the sidewalk is and I opened up the fence and so your sims can go out the sideway as well as the front of the house. And I also put them to the path to the trash cans too. I thought that was kind of realistic and I'm adding those pinkish reddish flower bushes that I was talking about earlier. I think it just brightens up the whole build. I really liked it. And then I added a swing set outside and that is pretty much it guys. This is the build. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you're enjoying the new pack as well. If you are enjoying the new pack, then comment down below what your favorite part of the new pack is. Now that it's been out for a few days, you guys probably have a good grasp of the pack itself. And so yeah, let me know what is your favorite part of the new pack? Do you guys like it at all? 
do you guys not enjoy it as much as I have been enjoying it? I'm really interested to know y'all's thoughts on it. And yeah, so if you have not subscribed to my channel, then definitely subscribe now. And make sure that notification bell is rung as well so that you don't miss a video of mine. I post a lot of different things. I post some community lots. I post a lot of houses. I'm working on a base game only save file. And I also create content every time a new pack comes out. So with all of that being said, I hope you all have an amazing day or night wherever you are in the world. And I will see you in the next video very soon. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.